campus. They've made a commitment in the next 20 years to see a lot of community impact. Um, and so the question that they had, the data that they brought with them was a participant data, and the kind of question was like, you know, how are people participating? Where are they coming from? What can we say about our neighborhood? So we started off um, with, with the data, with their participant data. Um, we associated an address, we were given uh, all of the addresses for all of the various programs, and the idea was like, let's attach an ID and see if we can match people across various programs. The addresses were then cleaned of personal information, meaning that uh, instead of giving it an exact address, which we felt sort of uncomfortable sharing at this event, uh, we would change it so that it would only have the first two significant digits. So you kind of get this rounding off effect of addresses. Um, and then from there, those addresses were then geocoded, given the latitude and longitudinal positions that we could then put onto a map. Um, and the map that we made was using um, Google Fusion tables. We will upload this, this information onto the Google Fusion table. It's kind of a little intense. This is a picture, obviously, of all the various programs you can see on the side here, along with median income from the American Community Surveys to kind of like layer this information to like what's going on here. And Drew went ahead and actually um, made an interactive map. So we have our map of our community here. This is all of Detroit. And then we can zoom in to the particular neighborhood where Focus Hope is working and actually filter by type of program. So, you know, and then for these various programs, we can actually say, oh, okay, that was what that was related to. That was that neighborhood. Um, we can see who it is, where they are, and we get a better sense with this uh, additional layer of immediate income kind of to see sort of what the participation is like. Um, so that was one of the cooler little bits that we got to do. Um, and that's something that we'll give directly to Focus Hope. So we actually, in this presentation, since none of their representatives could be here today, we actually have kind of like a detailed description of how we made this fusion table, along with links to tutorials. So this is, we're not talking ARC map here, we're not talking quantum GIS, stuff that is really extremely powerful but has a huge learning curve. We're talking about uh, stuff that they can access via Google, um, that hopefully will give them some really high impact in order for them uh, to help them understand uh, the material, the data that they're already collecting. Um, from there, some of our participants, including Tom, actually went through and looked at um, the American Community Surveys and the census data to kind of compare the village initiative to the rest of Detroit. Now, like generally speaking, they're not extremely different from the rest of Detroit, but there are some points that are kind of interesting, like looking at the population under 18, the median was about uh, 526 individuals versus the median in the rest of Detroit, the rest of the census tract, so this is by census tract, um, of 712 for the rest of Detroit. You also see that the average household income in the Hope uh, Village Initiative area is $32,000. $706 as opposed to the rest of Detroit, which is uh, $38,215. So some differences are coming out of this data that give you a better picture of like how they compare. And from this, uh, several of our um, participants recommended maybe trying to find a community that's approximately the same size as the Hope Village Initiative and statistically has a lot of the same similarities and maybe that could be compared over time, over the course of this program, maybe we can see if the impact that uh, Focus Hope, with their programming, has, has had a larger impact on what's going on. Um, several of the participants were really interested in this issue of public safety and access to the program. Again, this is a very text-heavy slide. This is intended for them, but I can show you the, the map that a lot of this thinking was based around. So um, if Hope Village's campus kind of above Davison here, right below this industrial park where obviously it doesn't seem like there's much of anything. Some of the participants were asking questions along the lines of, are, are there um, barriers to access based on actually being able to walk? 
to the campus. You know, maybe the streets are so highly trafficked or there's so many accidents on these streets um, that people are not comfortable walking. Uh, several of the participants actually who were coming from Detroit actually drove through and were making um, statements like, well, it looks like there are a lot of fenced off areas. Maybe the reason why we're seeing dispersion of the participants more towards the south near the campus as opposed to in some of the upper regions might actually be a mobility question. And so these are questions for further research that we might do some more investigating into what's actually going on. So just from participant data, we've already kind of like nested out a whole bunch of other questions that we can ask. Um, so with respect to future data collections and things that might be useful uh, going forward to make the process of doing these Google Fusion tables or doing some of these analyses even easier. We've written up some, some descriptions of what they could do. And last but not least, we've added, oops, uh, we have added some detailed description about the future areas of research that we can focus on. So all in all, a lot of work was done in particular on the maps because that seemed to be an area of real interest in them. But what came out of it were a whole lot more questions about where this, where we can take this, where we can go from here. Um, and several of the, the participants seemed really anxious and excited about maybe continuing this work forward, especially with the mapping stuff, because there's a lot of stuff to dig in there. Um, so it looks like Focus Hope had quite a lot of stuff going on. Anyone have any questions? I can't ask, answer really detailed ones, but I'd be happy if you have any thoughts that I could include on questions for further research. <laughs>